Hello eye tracking community. My name is Michael and in this video we will talk about eye tracking metrics. In the last video we have learned how eye trackers convert eye movements into data such as pupil positions and gaze points. And in this video we will talk about gaze points, fixations and saccades. Gazes are constantly recorded by an eye tracker like with 30 Hz, 60 Hz, 90 Hz, 120 Hz or other frequencies. But gaze points do not represent how the visual system is working. They represent how the eye tracker records the eye movements. And to analyze how the visual system is working, we will introduce fixations. This diagram shows two triangles which have been presented during an eye tracking experiment. Persons who are participating in an eye tracking experiment are called participants. So these participants are sitting for example in front of a screen and are looking at these two triangles. These two triangles are called stimulus. Here we can see now the gazes of one participant, how they have been recorded by the eye tracker. These little, two, these little bubbles represent the gaze points. An algorithm now clusters these gaze points to fixations. Fixations are connected by saccades. And this whole structure is called scan path, connecting gaze points, fixations and saccades. But now let's have a look on a real example. Here we can see now real data from the first episode where we played Sudoku. And we can see the, the gazes of one participant playing Sudoku on the left side. On the right side we can see the fixations. So an algorithm clustered the gazes to fixations. And on the right side we can nicely see what I've told um, a minute ago. We can see for example that the first fixation or yeah, the second one in this case because the first one is covered by other fixations is located here in the center of the screen and then the participant focused here the next position on the table so the third fixation the fourth fixation and so on and by analyzing this scan path we get an idea how this participant played sudoku besides gazes saccades and fixations there are many more eye tracking metrics and for example one eye tracking metric comes from the areas of interest here we can see the Sudoku table again with areas of interest like for example here on the top you can see the area of interest number one, number two, number three. And the areas of interest are regions covering specific areas on the stimulus. And using these areas of interest we can compute further metrics which are called gaze duration metrics. Besides these stimulus related metrics there are other metrics like for example pupil diameters. In upcoming videos we will explain both the gaze duration statistics as well as the pupil diameter in details. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and I'm looking forward to the next video. It will be about how to analyze eye tracking data.